was 0445 hours on the morning of July the 7th, 1944, when they first attacked. First came the Japanese officers, waving their katana over their heads and screaming at the top of their lungs, closely followed by thousands of troops. They came right through the gap between the 1st and 2nd battalions. Major McCarthy described the attack as looking like a cattle stampede from a western movie, except the Japanese just kept on coming. Of the many tactics deployed in the Pacific theater, there was one that was to leave a long-lasting impression. It was the terrifying Banzai charges carried out by the Imperial Japanese Army, designed specifically to crush morale and to take as many of the enemy as possible, this attack has become immortalized in the pages of history. I'm Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions, and in today's World War II video, I'll briefly discuss this infamous tactic and how it was executed. The Banzai charge was essentially a last-ditch suicidal attack mounted by infantrymen of the Imperial Japanese Army. It was another form of the human wave attack, an offensive tactic in which the attacking army performed an unprotected frontal assault with a tightly packed infantry formation against an enemy force. Many of the soldiers were either equipped with bayoneted bolt-action rifles, machine guns, or grenades. It was intended to not only overwhelm through sheer numbers, but also severely damage the morale of the enemy. Many Allied soldiers feared these dreaded attacks, and this in itself sometimes affected their performance on the battlefield. Strictly speaking, the term Banzai Charge was not the official name of this attack, but rather a term described by the Allied forces, because during these assaults, the Japanese infantrymen would shout, Tenno Heka Banzai! This means, long live his imperial majesty, the emperor. For the Japanese, the Banzai charge was considered one of the Yokozai, and was based on the principles of the Bushido Code of Honor, that it was better to die honorably than to surrender to the enemy. The Imperial Japanese Army heavily indoctrinated the soldiers to commit ritualistic suicide or seppuku if the counterattacks failed. Despite some of the Banzai charges being successful in breaking through enemy lines, many of them were repelled by overwhelming firepower. The extreme behavior of these attacks, without regard to casualties, can also be attributed to the brainwashing of men by Japanese military leaders left with no other alternative. The first reported usage of Banzai attacks occurred during the invasion of China. They were devastatingly effective in penetrating enemy lines because the Chinese were equipped with slow-loading bolt-action rifles, which were unable to produce enough firepower to stop the attacks. However, when the Japanese realized they were losing the war in the Pacific, these fanatical and often frenzied charges were more frequent. The results would often be disastrous due to the overwhelming concentrated firepower of the American forces, with thousands of Japanese casualties. The largest Banzai attack during the war occurred during the Battle of Saipan on July the 7th, 1944. Led by General Yoshisugu Seto, the attack consisted of 4,300 soldiers, which slammed into the US Army's 1st and 2nd Battalions of the 105th Infantry Regiment, which lost almost 2,000 men in the 15-hour battle. The attack was eventually repulsed, and almost all of the Japanese who took part in the battle were killed. Another infamous Banzai charge was during one of the bloodiest battles of the Pacific Campaign, the Battle of Okinawa. On April the 6th, 1945, the Japanese had decided to take a gamble and launch a massive counterattack to drive the Americans back. 
Led by their officers wielding katana, the fighting would see brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat against the Americans. The Marines, however, would eventually prove victorious due to their overwhelming firepower and superior numbers. As shown in the film examples at the start of the video, this human way of attack would have been utterly terrifying to endure. I'm now going to share with you another example of the Banzai Charge from a fantastic World War II video game, Call of Duty World at War. I only recently played it for the first time, and I must say, when the Japanese infantrymen started running and screaming, Tenoheka Banzai, you can see why it would have been fear-inducing to the Allied forces. What the hell is this? Check it out. Looks like a temple or some shit. Tango Hill! Damn it! Underground! Some Japanese commanders, like General Tadamichi Kuribayashi, forbade their men from carrying out banzai charges. The Americans were surprised that the Japanese didn't deploy this type of assault during the Battle of Iwo Jima. In the end, the banzai charge, whilst effective in China, could not turn the tide of the war in Japan's favor in the Pacific. Due to the overwhelming Allied firepower, the attacks were pointless and brutally wasteful on the lives of Japanese soldiers and civilians. Next time in my history videos, the iconic Vought F4U Corsair, also known by its nickname, Whistling Death. Thank you so much as always for watching, I really enjoy making these history videos. And don't forget to give us a like and to subscribe for more content. Finally, a shout out to my awesome subscribers for your ongoing support of the channel. Liam Smith with Agent Smith Voice Productions. Until then, stay tuned, I'll see you next time.